This is our another part of our um, ask for a state government to look at our road system. Ma Maston Lake Road is our number two priority for the city of Huntsville. Uh, it has now been moved to the 2023 year, which means that nobody that we won't be driving on this road until about 2026, 13 years from now. During that time, there's an estimated 4% per year acceleration in cost on those, and this road will double in price over that time. Uh, we have had some conversation this week with the governor's office, with the highway director, and we've had conversation. And this is a commitment that was made by the state of Alabama. This commitment was made uh, 10, 15, 20 years ago. And this is a commitment from the state, no matter if the governor was Robert Bentley, no matter if the governor was somebody else, this is a commitment that we would like to ask the state to look at and to help us. Today we have state representatives Jim Patterson and Phil Williams here with us. Thank you very much for coming. This is the first time out for Dr. Showers, as this is kind of in the heart of his district right here. And Dr. Showers, would you like to say a few words? Sure. It is a delight uh, to be here. Uh, I don't like to be redundant. The mayor has already said what needs to be said. But there is a commitment 20 years ago uh, to do several projects here in Huntsville and to come now and get notice that all of these projects are going to be delayed several years, tripling the cost. It would be such a cost saving to do the projects now. I've been telling the people at this intersection here, and if you look over to your left, uh, my right, uh, you can see the poor design. Uh, that's going to be fixed. I can't tell you when it's going to be fixed, but I want to commend our mayor for the campaign that he has been going through the last several weeks, trying to get the attention of the state of Alabama. The commitment is on Alabama's back. I thank our legislatures that's here, our county commissioners that are here in support of getting the money to make sure that all of Huntsville and Madison County can move forward as promised. Thank you, Dr. Showers. We also have Representative Phil Williams and Jim Patterson. Phil, Jim, y'all want to add? 100% support of them. They're behind us. <laughs> They're behind us. That's all we need. We also have Commissioner Bob Harrison, and Bob has been very instrumental in this. Thank you, Bob, for your help. We have uh, officials from uh, Drake, uh, Drake Technical, uh, Drake University. Uh, Dr. Helen McAlpine here. We're going to make it a university today. Uh, we have we have Kevin Roll, Dr. Kevin Roll from Alabama A and M, and then we have a number of people who are from neighborhood associations. Gene Bright. We have uh, Opal Meeks from the Traymore Association. We have people from all over this area who are affected by what happens to these roads. Alice Sams is here from the NAACP and also is a resident in this area and travels these roads quite often, don't you, Alice? So each of us has a special vested interest in seeing that these roads are done. The road system here, we are the only city in Alabama that does not have a road system that is completed from North City Boundary to South City Boundary. And this is one of the, one of the uh, fallback positions. This is one of the stops that we have. So we would like to ask each of you to work with us and work with us for future roads.